so long.
that they're, they're susceptible to being taken down. You know, I'm, I'm, par I'm roughly paraphrasing, but they they know. That's why that's why in uh in uh to, from time, Babylon to Timbuktu, it says that Antioch's fourth epiphany was determined to Hellenize the Jews, man. Which means what? To 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 convert them and to follow after the customs of, of, of their ways. It's that word uh, Shaqui, that word Cleave in uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. This is Strong, page 55, 96. It says, uh, Shapach. It says, to join, to attach to, to join together, to be joined together, to hold oneself together, to join oneself. Get that in uh, uh, Second Ephesians uh, chapter 2. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I was going to make my point. Can't can, can no other nation be joined? Can't no heathens be joined unto the nation of Israel, man? It tells you that in uh, uh, Romans chapter uh, chapter nine and verse uh, uh, what is that verse four that the adoption and, and the promises all pertain to the nation of Israel, man. You see, in the covenants with the S at the end of that covenant, man. You see, meaning both the new covenant and the, uh, the old covenant, and the new covenant, man. Malachi, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Malachi three and what is that? three and six. I am the Lord; I change not. You see, so the Lord ain't switched up nothing, man. He didn't. He didn't finally decide that. All right, now now all these other I'm gonna draft everybody in. It don't make no sense. Well, who is the Lord's enemy, man? The scriptures talk about the day of the Lord is coming up on the heathen. So why? How they gonna be his enemy? But then he, they gonna be, they gonna be joined unto him. That don't make no sense, man. You see? That's right. Uh, Ephesians two and eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Yeah, man. So you had the circumcision, which was you know, these Pharisees, Sadducees, whatever, that were keeping the law, supposedly, you know what I'm saying? And, and they were calling Israelite foreigners, Gentiles, uncircumcised, you know? So those Israelites that didn't grow up in the customs of Israel were considered uns uncircumcised. Gentiles in the flesh, like it says right there. All right, go ahead, keep going. Verse 12, verse 12, that at that time you were without your Hamas job, being aliens from the coming wealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. Yeah, man, being aliens, man. The girl's gonna get that word, but it goes into how we were pretty much outside of that uh, of that inner circle with the, with the Lord, man. You know, a, a Jeremiah the third chapter talks about how the, uh, Israel and Judah had committed a spiritual fornication against the Lord. That's why he gave us the ability to divorcement. Meaning what? That we were no longer his, right? That word? Yeah, it's that word for uh, alien. The Strong's G 526, a poly, a poly trio. It says to be alienated, estranged, to be shut out from one's fellowship and intimacy. Yeah, man. The heat, the heathen nations were never a part of that, man. If you go back to, if you go back to uh, uh, Genesis, the 16th chapter, I believe, it, t it tells uh, the Most High made that promise with Abraham. It said, you know, I, my, my. Uh, my, as a matter of fact, let's get it. I don't want to push it. Genesis uh, 16, verse, start, starting at the, the first verse. Because the covenant, remember, the promise is started with uh, with Abram. That's why his name was changed to Abraham, the father of multitude. Because out of him, uh, uh, he was going to be a father of many nations. We're talking about who? Talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Man. You got that? Uh, this is Genesis chapter 16 and verse 1. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children. Why you call that 17? What was that? 16? That was 16. This is a Genesis 17 and 1. And when Abram was 90, year, 90 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty power. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. Yeah, man. He, and, and he did that. Hey, but you got to remember that, uh, uh, that Abraham, Abraham had more than one son. He also had Ishmael. So why wasn't the lineage passed down to him too? Why, uh, as a matter of fact, go ahead and read it. Yeah, but, uh, man, when you when you're reading, uh, you know, what is it, 20, what is it, when you talk about Jacob, you talk about uh, chapter 25? When you read, when you read in chapter 25, it goes into how Isaac, uh, uh, I mean, how uh, Abraham, you know, basically blessed, blessed his different children. And he, he basically separated them from Isaac, man. You see, because Isaac was the one that was going to receive that, the, uh, the, the, the promises, man. See, so he blessed all the, you know, he blessed his other children, but Isaac was the one who got that, got that continuance of the line, man. You see, 
most points. You know what's crazy? The most I got a favorite. Isaac had a favorite. He like he loved Esau, didn't he? You know, they say, you know what I'm saying? Jacob mom loved him. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, yeah, so y'all go, once again, y'all go into that damn Constantine the Great, man. Y'all, all that stems back to Constantine the Great, man. I got a quick time with the Middle Ages. You got it, got a quick one for you. This is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 9. It says, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Right. There you go, man. It shows you the the, the, uh, the, uh, the line in which the Lord chose, man. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't want to, uh, he didn't say, okay, Israel, Jacob, I'm going to give y'all both of you. No, that's why, uh, that's why uh, uh, Abraham sent away uh, uh, Hagar, 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 Hagar and right. Ishmael and, and, and their children. Yeah, separated. Yeah, separated. Yeah, separated. Yeah. So he gave them, you know, gave them some money, you know, with, with, you know and then they, they were on their way. Hey, but the promises, and as a matter of fact, you don't get into that. This is uh, back in uh, Genesis 17 and verse 3. And Abram fell on his face. And the Most High talked with them, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Yeah, man, a father of many nations have I made thee. Hey, but at the end of the day, he chose one line. Just like the brother was going into in Genesis 25 chapter, who did the... Who did the uh, uh, the heritage of the firstborn son go to it went to Jacob. And, and was it like an accident that it just, you know, the, the, uh, Jacob just went in there and all? No, it, it was it was it was by design. Yeah. It was supposed to happen like that. And then after Jacob, what he had his 12, 12 his twelve sons, which, be, which turned into the twelve tribes, which came, became that large uh, uh, that the many nations that's talked about in that chapter, man. Yeah. And we're that here today. Is strong, bro. That's a long lineage. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the father of the promised man. You see, not Esau, not Agar, which is the son of Ishmael. No, we right. had Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We had Judah. We had Boaz. We had, uh, uh, oh, go ahead. No, 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 that's no, 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 just like over, over in Egypt, we call ourselves Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Like we call ourselves Americans, right. or Mexicans, or Puerto Ricans, you know? Yeah. It's Romans 9 and 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all, are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called, that is, that which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promises are counted for the seed. Yeah. Bro, that's simple, man. See, that's why Paul was stating that, man. Look, right. man. It's about this seed. Like, it don't matter because you, hey, because like the brothers, like brothers are going into, man. Abraham had multiple sons. Right. You see? But it was only one that was going to receive that promise, man. You see? And that's through the Isaac. Right. You see? That's why they're going to be counted the seed, the, the seed of the, the, the children of the promise, man. I got one just to lay back on that, you know. Uh, this is uh, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 16. Now to Abraham... And his seed, singular, were the promises made. He said not, and to seeds, plural, as of many, because like the Kahanian was going into, Abraham, being the father of many, uh, of many nations, he had several sons, like eight sons, man. You know, uh, one with uh, Sarah, one with, which was the chosen seed, one with, uh, with uh, 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 Hagar, which was Ishmael, and then six was with uh, uh, Keturah. You know what I'm saying? So he was, he was a father of like eight eight different uh, uh, children, man. So it the says go that way. Oh, exactly. Boy, That's why it's going into that. It says and not and to seeds plural as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Hamashiach, man, which is going back to Isaac, man, because us in the know we know Isaac is Hamashiach in and in, in that incarnation, man. You know what I'm saying? And what you're saying that. Hey, God, I just want to say the vision, the Lord was afar off from his people, but now he's making himself be known again. So he ain't showing his faith, but he's showing his face. It's all spiritual. Like the Bible said, when the Lord turned his back on you, it means he didn't give you his wisdom and not just understand it. Now, he, now he's showing his face towards by allowing us to get this right here, man. Yeah. That's why I take care of it. Two people don't understand it, man. Right. Yeah. Ephesians 2. Yeah. That was it. Did you want to continue that, Genesis? 
Can we get the point? We keep going. Yeah, yeah, You know, so we're back in Genesis uh, 17. And I'll, I'll just start at verse 6 again. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be a to be a power unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And it goes into what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all the way down to the twelve tribes. That's the seed after him, man. Those were the, the heritage, the promises, the covenant. That's that's what it was passed down to, man. Just like this brother mentioned in Romans tonight, chapter. Uh, this Romans 9, Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in Amasiach, I lie not, my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have continued, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I wish that, that myself were a curse for Amasiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of, of God, and the promises. Yeah, man, the giving of the law, the promises, the heritage, everything, man. You are Israelites in the flesh. You know, if you want to get that in, uh, what is it, Psalms 147? It says that the, he has shown his word. Yeah. You know, because because you got to remember, if you go to Exodus 24, chapter, that covenant that was sealed between the Lord and who? Israel. You know, that's why Moses sprinkled the blood on the people, and they said, well, everything that the Lord said we shall do. Creating that covenant, that that, 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 that that pact between us and the Lord, man. That's how. That's how. That's what the scriptures is talking about, man. That's who the. That's who the, the lineage and the heritage, uh, the, the covenant to promise everything. That's that's who that belongs to, man. Because they, they, we made that pact with the Lord. Uh, I want to get that word adoption. Just uh, that word adoption in uh, Romans nine and four. It says. You watch the seer, the strong uh, G, 5206, you watch the seer, it says an adoption, adoption of son, that relationship which the Most High had was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. In preference to all other nations. Right. And what happened, what, what happened to the, uh, what about the other heathen nations? Wait, what, how come they ain't got it? Why, you know what I'm saying? Why, why is the scripture not talking about them? As a matter of fact, it does mention in Isaiah the 40th chapter, that they, they are they are as a drop of a bucket, man. You know, the other heathen nations ain't nothing, man. Less than nothing. Yeah, next yeah, next to nothing. Less. Less than nothing. Less than nothing, right. Hey, when you uh, like I said, it said that relationship was the most I was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. Time right into the Amos three and one, man. You only have I known, man, showing right. you that relationship that the most high has right. is between him and the nation of Israel. It's not between any other nation, man. Right. I got that in Psalms. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, he had not dealt so with any nation, man. He, he showed his statutes and his laws and his commandments to the nation of Israel, man. Okay, what about when they was when they was coming up to the to, to the promised land? He said, what did the Lord say, man? You gotta you gotta get rid of all these people, man, in the land of Canaan. You know, all the Hizzites, the Parasites, you know what I'm saying? All of them, they they gotta go. And the Lord had in the nation of Israel put these other nations to death, man, and to take the land. Why? Because the Lord pro they promised that, that that land was gonna be ours. What happened to them? How come the Hizzites didn't they weren't a part of that? Uh, uh, how come we didn't go up there? Hey, y'all want to share? No, man. But we put them to death and we took their land. Where's their salvation? Yeah. It says, it says here, verse 20, he have not dealt so with any other nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, man, the judgment of the Lord. These heathen nations don't, they, they, uh, don't know the, uh, understand the judgment of the Lord, man. You know? Uh, but, uh, It's Joel 2 and 27. Just, spirit, <laughs> it says, and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Yeah, I am the Lord your God. None else. Meaning 
that the most high, hey, this, man, history itself, according to the scriptures, talks about it, speaks of it, man. What about when, uh, when, we, when we was coming out of Egypt? How come the Lord literally destroyed Egypt just to take us out of there? How come, how come uh, they, the Lord didn't give Egypt daylight and then we walked? No, the Lord destroyed Egypt and we walked out and, 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 and what they, they was giving us all, you know, they was giving us all kinds of uh, jewels and gold and everything. And they said, go ahead, take this. And then after we left, uh, that, that, was, that, was, that was really the, the, the decline of Egypt, brother, man. They, they was at the end of their road. Hey, hey, the, 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 uh, the advisors of Pharaoh said, you know, can't you see that Egypt is destroyed? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's, so most High put the spirit on Pharaoh to, to, to pretty much allow 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 his uh, kingdom to to to, uh, to fall, man. Uh, for what? Just, just to keep us there, you know. But at the end of the day, the Lord delivered us, and and he and the Egyptians was through. Was through. Ephesians 2 and 13, but now, uh, uh, 2 and 12, Ephesians 2 and 12, that at that time you were without Hamashiach being aliens from the coming wealth of Israel and strangers and the covenants of promise, having having no hope and without the most sight in the world. Yeah, man, so we were like the rest of the heathen nations, man. We were out there without no hope. So we established that the, the, co the, the, the covenant between the Lord and was with Israel, not with the whole world, you know? And if that's the case, then why does it talk about the heathen being uh, uh, given unto uh, to us as an inheritance? Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you brought that up in uh, Isaiah 4, 4, 4, 2, bro. Yeah, yeah. They say they're they going to... I'm going to jump back, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't want to uh, misquote it, bro. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 2. I start at verse 1 again. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Yeah, yeah that's right. The Lord shall possess them as servants and handmaids, man. And that's, and that's in, the, in the kingdom. Yeah. As a matter of fact, get that in uh, Isaiah, the second chapter, where it talks about them coming up to the mountain of the Lord to worship our ways. Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 2, yeah. It says, uh, 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 it says, And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Yeah, man, we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. Hey, whose captives they were, man. And that goes into what? Revelation 13 and 9, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. When is that? When is that going to be fulfilled? Right. You got that in, uh, in uh, Isaiah two. Can you can start from the top. Yeah. Isaiah two and one. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it said, "Come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills." All nations shall flow into it. Yeah, man. The, uh, the, the government of the nation of Israel is going to be established, and it's going to be all, over all governments of, uh, that exist, man. Israel is going to be the top governing body, man. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Verse 3. Many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, of the Lord, to the house of the Most High, Jacob. And he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. There you go, man. Out of Zion shall go forth the law, man. So these people are going to go up to us and they're going to learn about We're going to have to teach them of our ways. Hey, but hold on. If everybody can be saved, then why does it say in Jeremiah the 31st chapter that the law is going to be written on inward parts and that we were going to be perfect? If that's the case, then we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't have to teach them. Uh, you, you, you got it? You got it? I got it in Hebrew. Uh, we might as well start at the, at the point that we start at, and we'll get to that point in, uh, in verse 11. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse uh, 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a, of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first 
covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. And that represents the northern and the southern kingdom, man. You know, the nation of Israel, the whole house. So how can you get other nations into this, man? Exactly. How? I don't... Come on, bro. That's the point. Bro. If everybody can... If, the house is full. Exactly. Can nobody else come into the house, man? Exactly. Bro. If, it, if everybody could be joined onto the covenants, like we was, like the brother was, like the priest asked for that Isaiah uh, uh, 2 and 1, then why do they got to come up and learn the ways? Right. When the scriptures, what the brother's reading is going into how that second covenant where the Lord is going to put the laws within us. Right. Now, if they was a part of going into yeah. So if they were drafted in, that, that means they would have the laws in them. They wouldn't have to go up and learn. And wouldn't you think it would be important? Wouldn't you think the Lord would put that in there if, if, if it was really true that everybody could be drafted in? When he's talking about the covenants, what you think the Lord, why you think, if, if it was really true, why would the Lord leave it out there? Why would the Lord mention it if it was true? The Lord said these new covenants is only with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This goes back to Romans 9, man. Y'all constantly hear this, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be an Israelite, yes. You gotta come from that bloodline, yes. The world lied to you, I'm gonna keep saying it. Constantine the Great lied to you, motherfuckers, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. He's the one that ushered in all these so you know the, the 4th of July, Easter, and Mother's Day, and all that shit. That's why you think the way you think because of that clown. Yeah, right. Back in Hebrews 8 and verse 9. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, said the Lord. That's why we wanted in the wilderness for 40 years. Right. <laughs> got it on. Huh. It's, uh, verse 10, it says, but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, which is the whole, both northern and southern kingdom, the whole house. It says, after those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. And here's the point, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. For all shall know me for the, from the least to the greatest. Amen. Amen. We'll be in the kingdom. Amen. So the Lord is gathering his people up now. So he's going to this prophecy right here, man. Yeah, that's right, man. That's, that's, that's the uh, main point right there, man. We ain't going to, like, this brother's not going to be in the kingdom. I'm not going to have to teach him. No, man, he's going to know. But the other heathen nations, they're going to be out there like, hey, let's, we, we, need, to, we need to go up there and learn right. learn the ways hey. of Yahweh. Right. 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 You know? Them niggas, when Jesus died for everybody, John 3, 16. John 3, 16. We, we can go into it, bro. But what about Acts uh, 5 and then 29 right. through 32? Exactly. What about that? You see? <laughs> that, that clearly says that he only died for his nation. Time right to Matthew 1 when it talks about him, his birth. Yeah, he shall be, he shall uh, 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 basically be a savior for his people. Possessive yeah. pronoun, hello, yeah, yeah. his people. Yeah, yeah, I wish I said it himself. Go not unto the ways of the Gentiles, but rather go unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, of the nation of Israel. Amen. You know what else? Hey, even the Pharisees put themselves out there like that. He, you know, he, I was just say I must go where the, uh, somewhere where they cannot find me. Oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether, whether, whether when you go. Yeah, yeah. Whether, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, is it John Seth? John I think it's, yeah, I think it's John Seth. Yeah, yeah. I think it's John Seth. You know what I was in it to? Yeah, man. Hey, the Gentiles, I mean, the, the Pharisees said it about the Gentiles to, uh, themselves too, man. Okay. John 7 and 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whether will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed amongst the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Matter of fact, get the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get the word. Gotta get the word. Will he go amongst the dispersed? Gentile, right? Right. Said word, that's doubling up the word and word. Yep. Yeah. Yes. That's a double, double up. Hey, this is Strong's G for the word. Uh, 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 not, uh, uh, what, what was the word? The actual word? Disperse. Word. Disperse. Word. Disperse. Yes, spot. This is Strong's G 1290. The diaspora. Diaspora. It says a scattering, a dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. 
Yeah, yeah. Israelites is first, the first amongst foreign nations. And if you go to that one in Revelations, uh, where, which one is it? The one where it talks about the 12 tribes? Uh, seven. 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 Like, seven. 12,000 out of yeah. the house yeah. of the seven. Seven. Yeah. And then it goes into all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. I believe if you go into that word, uh, families, I might be wrong, but I'll look it up right now. Uh, it goes in, in the word, it goes into a tribe, and then it says, of the 12 patriarchs of the nation of Israel, uh, it's like, man, let me get it. Let me get it. Hey, if you mind, I'm going to read this in the NLT, man. This John 7 and 35 in the NLT, it says, the Jewish leaders were puzzled by this statement. Where is he planning to go? They asked. Is he thinking of leaving the country and going to the Jews and other lands? Maybe he would teach the Greeks. So you know, we were scattered, man. You see? My goodness. Man. Which goes back to the curses. This is okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And it reads, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all peoples, among all people from the one end of the earth, even to the other. There thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thy father nor neither thy thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that's part of the curses, man. We, uh, uh, you know, when, when we would go off, man, the Lord would put us in the, in the slavery and scatter us among these nations, man. You know what I'm saying? There's another one in, uh, real quick in, in Leviticus. This is Leviticus 26 and verse 33. And it reads, And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. You know, Hosea 8 and 8, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Israel was swallowed up of the heathen, man. You know what I'm saying? So we've been scattered among them. That's why, man. You know? I got to say, we're not in our land right now. They said, at the, uh, at the last of that verse, said our land, something about our land or something like that. At the end of that verse. Uh, 30, Leviticus 33? I think that's what you I read again. This is Leviticus 26 and 33. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate. And your city's waste. Our land is desolate. Jerusalem over there, Israel, all the shit, the trees and everything flown in, man. That land is cursed, man. Mm -hmm. That's what this, we're not in our, we're not in the right position yet. So this is the, man, and all this is the buildup of the Lord will turn the back to gather those who were scattered, scattered, mm -hmm. scattered. You gotta be scattered in order to be gathered, man. Yep. The fucking so-called Jews ain't fucking scattered. The fucking so-called Chinese not scattered. The only people that scatter on the earth are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I, want, I got one just to prove and to back that up, which you had called that. This is Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries whither I have driven them in my anger Woo. and in my fury and in great wrath. And I will bring them again unto this place and I will cause them to dwell safely. Man, You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 11 and 11, I mean, uh, Isaiah 11 and 11. And this shit come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. That's what they're talking about, man. Yes. Ain't no way around it. That's why you see men out there teaching the word now. Right. This is spiritual. The Lord is gathering his people, man. That's right. The Lord is like, I'm, I'm going to search my, I'm searching Jerusalem with candles. Searching out their wickedness and find out who's man that's right. Right, and Lucas right. fall back into the fold, you might be part of that elect, man. Right. So Israel was scattered. Like, can you read that? Uh, I, 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 verse 12. This is going to go into it. <laughs> verse 12, continue on Isaiah 11 and 12. It says, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcast of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Man. Read in the NLT, it says, He will raise a flag among the nation and assemble, and assemble the exiles of Israel. And he will gather the scattered of people of Judah from the ends of the earth. Now, exile is somebody that was banished, man. Who is it? Don't they say outcast? The outcast? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Yep. Uh, There's a lot of people who go to the, you know, a lot of Christians that kind of know what they, what they think. They'll go to this scripture, right? Go ahead and read that. This is Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. It says, And after this I beheld and behold a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and, and palms in their heads. Yeah, man, if you go to 2nd Ezra, the second chapter, that's, what that's, that's that multitude that it's talking about. It's not talking about every single person that believes in Jesus Christ, whether you be a heathen or not. It's talking about 
a certain group of people, right? Uh, get that word, Kendricks. It's that word, Kendricks, in Revelation 79, Strong's G 54 and 43, uh, may, may lie. It says, a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12, the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. There you go, man. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. That's what that's talking about. Yep. That's who the salvation is for. Right. And that's in Revelations, man. And they said what? Those that stood before the Lamb, man. Those are the, the 12 descendants of the patriarch Jacob, man. And there was 12,000 that read, read before that and just going into the government, the governing body of the nation of Israel that's going to be in the kingdom, man. Right. Then it goes into the norm. Just like this this, this uh, kingdom has a, a particular government body of the United States. Right. Then you got the regular people. You got the regular Americans. That's how it's going to be, man. You see? You got the uh, 144,000, the 12,000 from each tribe, the governing body, plus the large multitude, which is going to be of the Israelites, man. Right. You see? Really, that was the whole point of Yahweh Shai coming in, man. Was was to bring back the, the, that boat, man. To 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 give salvation to the Gentiles. What it says at the top of this subject, it said to reconcile them to Hamashiach. Right? <laughs> bro, <laughs> reconciliation. Okay. Go on to it, bro. Reconcile, reconciliation. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. All right, yeah. It's a uh, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 5 and 18. Let's see if I can call it. Okay, I started verse 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of the Most High, who have reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Hamashiach, and, and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah, man, so now we have the opportunity to receive salvation right? through Yahweh That's why Yahweh is so important, man. That's why it talks about him. Uh, I won't get that word. Oh, yeah. It says reconcile. It's Strong's G 2644. Oh, I don't know what it says. <laughs> it says to, to change, to exchange as a as coins for other or equivalent value. It says to reconcile to reconcile those who are in variance. Now, who the hell was in variance with the Heavenly Father, man? Right. The nation of Israel, man. Go. He had got to a point where he cast us out, man. He's like, nah, bro. You know, I'm done with y'all, man. You see? But through Yahweh Shah, we've been reconciled. It's on stage. To return to favor with. Through Yahweh Shah, we are, through his sacrifice, we are returned back. We are becoming good graces with the Yahweh Shah, man. With the Heavenly Father, man. You see? You want something? Yeah, uh, going back to that. Uh... Ephesians 2 and 12. That at this time, no, no, at, that at that time you, you were house, without Hamashiach. You were in my house over here, and you in my house. Yeah, so you you move my stuff, and house. you move okay, no, like right. You move me over here. Read that part again. Ephesians two and twelve. That at that time you were without you ye were without Hamashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise. Having no hope and without the most high of the world. But now in Hamashiach and Hawashai, ye who sometimes ye who were sometimes afar off are made nigh by the blood of Hamashiach. Yeah, ye who sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Yahushai, man. So Yahushai putting himself on that cross and dying for the sins of the nation of Israel opened that door for us to, to receive salvation. Like he's gonna go into actually. Verse 14. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Amen. That, var that variance that that brother brought out. We were the ones in variance with the Lord, man. Right. So, so Yahusha tore that middle wall of partition, which is that invisible wall that separated us from from uh, from Yahweh, man. That's why, as a matter of fact, it goes into it. That mediator, having abolished in his flesh. The enmity, even the law of, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Yeah, man. So those ordinances, the, you know, pretty much Yahushai uh, 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 
alleviating us from that judgment. Because if we were judged according to the law, we would still be out uh, of that of that uh, of that circle, man. If the Lord was still judging us by the law, then we would be we would still be out there like like it says, uh, 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 people without without hope. You know. So Yahweh should I coming in, and then read that last verse again. Verse 16, Ephesians 2 and 16, and that you might reconcile. No, no. Verse 15, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of, of twain one new man, so making peace. Yeah, man. So if the law was still afforded, uh, the law still applies. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if, if, if that was, the, you know, if, if we were judged under the law, man, we, we should all be put to death. Right. You know, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't have the opportunity that we have to, to, to come back into the fold, man. That's where Yahweh Shah is, is the key, man, that cornerstone, like the scriptures talk about. Yep. Verse 16. And that he might reconcile both, both unto the Most High in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. Yeah, man, so you had the northern or southern kingdom. Both being able to uh, come in through Yahweh shall become in one one body, man. Oh, man, the Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. Yeah, uh, man. That's the niggas, niggas that the same nigga that been coming up to fuck me yeah. so hard now, man. Yeah. Now he back up. The Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. That's cool. You hard head niggas that wanna fight for for, for, for Christianity, Lord right. gonna smoke you niggas, man. Yep, yeah, they need like smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that, is that, yeah. yeah. Verse 17, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off. Because now he comes because now the, the most I got his men out there saying that the kingdom is for you, the kingdom is the kingdom is ready. So that's peace unto us, man. That our slaves, that our, our enemies finna go into slavery, that just praise that got us in captivity and got our people fucked up and destroyed. That's gospel, that's good news to us, which means somebody finna receive bad news, man. The Lord is coming back to destroy this place and get his people out of this condition, man. Right, right. Matthew 10 goes into that. Brother. Matthew yeah. 10 goes into that, man. You know, he said, go, he told his, his, uh, his uh, 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 apostles at that time, go not into the ways of the, of, of the, uh, uh, Samaritan, the, what, what, the Syrians? Samarians? The Samaritans. The Samaritans. Yeah, the Samaritans. And, uh, but, but go rather to the lost sheep of the, of the house of Israel and preach the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? So just like the Kahan, uh, the elder just went into, you know? Yeah. And it came to pass, and it, and came to preach and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, not know our nationality, man. And to them that were not. Yeah, man. Those that you know to, he came to, to, to preach and to uh, uh the whole nation of Israel, man. You know, but at the end of the day, uh, it was the Gentiles, it was the Gentiles who was looking for, man. That's why it goes into Matthew, uh, Matthew the twenty second chapter talks about them being good to the wedding. Good and bad, because yeah. you had the Gentile, you had the the, uncircumcis the circumcision and the uncircumcision. Yep. You know, they bid, they bid good and bad to the wedding. You know? Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the house of the Most High. Yeah, man. See, there goes that word again: strangers becoming citizens. So those Gentiles, those Israelite foreigners that the brother brought out in Isaiah the 14th chapter. Are, 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 are going to be made citizens, man. And we're in the process of it right now. You know, just like Esau, you know, he got, you know, Ishakar, and they, they got to go through a whole process. They considered aliens, even though this is, you know, we, we, we was here first. You know, they considered aliens. And without that, that process, you know, they're not considered citizens. They're considered, uh, they can, what do they call it? Uh, they're considered, uh, uh, when you're here for, for a period of time, you gotta renew your, your visa or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, but they're not really considered. Uh, just another word for it. But, but pretty much, you're not you're not a citizen. You're. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, though. But until you. Alien or something like that. Oh, is that is that it? <laughs> but you got you got you have uh, you have a uh, permission to work here. I, I like a work visa. They call yeah. it work visa. Yeah, but they call it something else. You're not a citizen, but you're a. Yeah. 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 Y
it's going bad. You know, say you know, you know, I hate to put it like that, but pretty much, you know, we 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 are we in Gentiles, uh, uh, you know, through Yahweh Shai, are re- received that citizenship. <laughs> One more. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahushai Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. Yeah, man, Yahushai being that chief cornerstone, man. That that that, that key part of, 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 of what, it, what it is to build to, to have a, a lasting foundation for, for a building to be built, man. But but yeah, you know, Yahushai being that key cornerstone. You know, leaving that important foundation, starting that important foundation for that building to be uh, built up right now. Going into to, to, to the nation of Israel, man. Mostly talking about the elect. Uh, this Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. For the God of our fathers raised up your house side, who he slew and hanged on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. But to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, man. So, for his people, man. Like it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 1. But the Hebrew one gave Jake the law, statutes, and commandments. Those are the only people that can sin, man. You know, the next can eat frogs and eels and shit. Make a deal, sandwich around the fish. Electrify yourself looking at it. So, you eat all that bomb turtles and alligator and all that. You eat all that shit. The Israelites can't do that because he gave us laws to go by, man, to govern us, to make us righteous above you, people, to serve him. Okay, yeah, Matthew, uh, Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son, and, she, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh shall for she, for he shall save his people from their sins, man. There you go. He shall save his people from their sins. It's not, it didn't say like he's going to see it all as a matter of fact. Oh, you got one? I got Matthew 15, yeah. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's red letters of Yahweh Shai speaking, man. He said he's not sent to these other nations, man. He's sent to the Israelites, man, which goes into that, uh, uh, that reconciliation, man. You know what I'm saying? He came to reconcile the Israelites back to the to the Most High Yahweh, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's not sent to anybody but them, man. You no, know? just read it in Ephesians chapter two. Exactly that reconciliation. That right? Exactly. Okay. Hey, what about what about Esau, man? How come how come the Lord condemned him? He said that he was gonna utter, he was gonna utterly destroy Esau, man, completely. <laughs> Somebody want to get that out the dial? This is uh, Obadiah 18, I mean, it's like 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Yeah, man, so what's up with that? I thought, I thought, uh, what if you had a, a believing Edomite? Can he be saved? But the judgment for Esau was, was to be utterly destroyed, man, completely annihilated. To not exist anymore, <clears throat> you know. Hey, but 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 that's Christianity, man. Anybody can come up in here, man. A pedophile can accept Jesus Christ and be considered safe. Right. Murder. <clears throat> the dude that that went up there and killed all them kids. Uh, uh, what if he? What if he? Uh, right before he got shot, he accepted Jesus Christ. Was he? Did he go to heaven? Right. You know, like uh, Christianity heaven. You know, so they, you know, Christianity's concept of, uh, of this book is completely uh, uh, delusional, man. It's flawed. There's no, there's, it, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna jump up to verse 12, bro. Uh, it says, "But thou shouldst not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldst thou rejoice over the children of Israel in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldst thou." Uh, have spoken proudly in the day of the distress, man. And it and says, but came a stranger. That's the point I want to harp on. Yeah. You got it, You got it, bro. It says, but came, it says, but came a stranger. That's that, we read it in Ephesians too. We became alienated from the commonwealth, man. 
it's talking about the Israelites, man. You know, not the other nations. <laughs> yep, that was a beautiful point, bro. Hey, can I read? I'm read that. Can I read the NLT, bro? This is the same verse in Obadiah uh, one and uh, in uh, twelve. It says, "You shall have not gloated when they exiled your relatives to distant land." You see, exiled man, passed out man. Right. You see, that's when we became strangers, man. You know, that's those strangers that was that's going to cleave unto the house of Israel in Isaiah fourteen and one, man. You see. And ain't, can't nobody else be cleaved unto the house of Israel, man, being, being joined unto you. You see? Only Israelite, the Israelite corners, man. Right. Oh, my goodness. And these are all scriptures, man, that show you that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. These scriptures is only for the nation, the, good, the, the gospel, the good news is only for the nation of Israel, man. You see? Brothers and pull out hell of precepts, man. Hey, it's not write them down, man. They want them in your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your sport, man. You see? But this, 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 hey, man, this, this shows you right there, man. We breaking it down. They, they call it Hebrew hopscotch. But the scriptures tell you precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, man. That's how you put this mystery together, man. That's why it's a mystery. That's why these, 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 these damn Christians, like this nigga down here, instead of trying to talk to talk to the elders, man, but this thing is not going to convert no fucking body, man. Right, right. You know? Just gonna be destroyed, man. Yep. You see? Yep. And that's how that's how you that's the context, man. Yep. Hey, man like he saw like he saw in, in his churches, he'll tell you, well, that's, that's out of context. He was like, bro, we just showed you the context, like what what he's talking about. Yep. If you say everybody, the world, or uh, all nations, you're, that's that's out of context. Because those is talking about you gotta put it into context just like we did, man. You gotta go back and show them, okay, look, who's the who the law giving to? Alright, who is the pass down to? What is the covenant? What is the what is the first covenant? What is the second covenant? What is the purpose of the Alishai? That's right. Why is the nation of Israel, where is the nation of Israel today? You know what I mean? You gotta put it into context for these people, man, even though they're not gonna get it. But if you go according to Christianity, everything's gonna be out of context. Just because it says the whole world. Hey, when John 3, 16, the love, well, God, God so loved the whole world. They, that, oh, that, so that's it. So that's according to Christianity, it's talking about everybody. But if you put it into context, according to the scriptures that we brought out, it's not talking about the whole world. It's talking about the world of the nation of Israel. Right? <laughs> Isaiah 45 say, you know, that, that, that my, they shall not be a confounded world without end, man. Right. Then, then you have the Heavenly Father calling the nation of Israel a world, man. See, like the priest is going into there's different world in the boxing world, the basketball world, the animal world. You got all these different worlds, man. So what world is it talking about? You just like show these fucking Christians, they don't go into definitions, man. They don't go and look up words, man. They don't go into the Hebrew, they don't go into the Greek, man. They don't put these precepts together, man, and, and you know, because the spirit's not dealing with it, man. Right. Hey, you go to Sea World, what is the uh, overall heat, it's, 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 it's marine animals. Yeah, man. exactly. You're not gonna go up there and go look at a rhino. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going to go see a fucking yeah. killer elk. Well, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, straight up. Great white. Yeah, that's a good point, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the context right there. I know, I remember, I remember I was an Edomite when I first came into the truth that, uh, that, I, was, uh, that I used to go to church with. And, he would, and every time I would, you know, I was still new. So every time I show up a scripture, he would say, that's out of context. And I'm like, well, what's the and then I'll show up another one and say, no, that's out of context. Like, man, what, what, yeah. what, does it, what, what, what does it mean there when, when it talks about the, the line of, of Israel, the laws, and all that? You know? And he'll pull up a scripture that goes into the talk just generally. And he says it's generally talking about everybody, which is not. <laughs> you read up in John 3, 16 to go to verse 14, Moses had lifted up that serpent in the wilderness. Well, who was in the wilderness, man? Everything, you see what I'm saying? Everybody. No, it was only Israelites. Psalms 50 and 5, man. You know? I got one more. I bring this back real quick. This is Sirach chapter 44. And I start at, just to give it the context, I'll start at uh, verse 19. And it reads Abraham was a great father of many people in glory, was there none like unto him, who kept the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh, and he was proved. And, and when he was proved, he was found faithful, 
Therefore, he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from river unto, utter, unto the uttermost part of the land. Here's the point. With, see, with Isaac did he establish likewise from Abraham his father's uh, so I can, for Abraham his father's sake the blessings of all men and the covenants and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him inheritance and divided his portion among the 12 tribes did he part them. So Abraham to Isaac, Isaac, Isaac to Jacob, Jacob to the 12 sons, man. No one else. That's what that's going into. So everything is going to them, man. That's the line, man. You know, you can't include anybody else in that, man. That's the Lord would have added that, man. Twelve gates, right? With the twelve tribe names on them, man. Yep. Where, 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 where the gate for everybody else? Right. <laughs> right. Make no damn sense. Where you saw them? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> twelve gates. He can't even repent. He yeah. ruined the twelfth chapter. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 it says he found no place of repentance, and he's not going to repent. Uh, do, uh, Revelations. Uh, what's that? The ninth. Sure. Revelation nine, I believe it is. Revelation, oh, yeah. it's either six or nine. It's one of them where it says he, he uh, uh, when it goes into the destruction and all his sorcery, sorceries and, you know, it's six or nine. I can't remember exactly. At, at the end, at the end of the chapter, look at the end. Good. Okay. Well, Revelation 9 and 21, neither repented they of their murder, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thief, uh, thefts. So he can't repent pursuant to Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and he ain't going to repent. Uh, uh, pursuant to Revelation the ninth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna repent. You can't get into the kingdom of heaven without repentance. <laughs> Stop, bro. You know, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Vocab is a, is a goddamn demon, man. Yeah. You know, so Stop, eat a my demon. But, but you necessary. He's necessary. No, I'm gonna tear your ass up, man. Fucking fly, that. Yeah, all this room was gonna fly. Yeah, man. Yeah, some shit bugs and supplies yeah. that come around you. You got a piece of watermelon out exactly. of this goddamn bug. Yeah. Kind of fly ass nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. nigga's trying to board them chains. you going to get them chains, my dude. I'm right. saying, like, before the apostles and the elders on YouTube, what the fuck you been doing? Right. Yeah. Go back to doing that, man. All of a sudden, now, come on, man. Get your bitch ass out the way, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. The apostles and them, you know what I'm saying, before they came on the scene, what you was doing? Okay, though. It's okay, though. So we're going to our brothers, brothers, brothers and sisters who edified. You know, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who teach you real well. Peace and blessings to the Akim Scratch, who are the four quarters, keep this word of truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. DTA. DTA. That's right.